Hi, my name is Alessandro Gangelosi and that's a video tutorial coming from cgcookie.com for Max Cookie. Uh, I'd like to make a really simple tip about something related to vegetation and plants. Uh, you know, maybe if you are working on a scene like this one, and uh, the scene is done using a sun plants model and a multi scatter plugin for 3ds Max to create all the vegetation. Obviously, it's just a work in progress for a scene I'm preparing for a client. And you know, if we like to have the animation there, uh, we can have a really uh, simple way to do it. Let's imagine that we like to simulate the wind on a tree. Uh, to do this, we can use uh, the the objects we have there in the AC extension, the foliage, and you know we have there the plants. So, for example, let's use this one, and that's our tree. Uh, the model is not so good, but it's uh, a good start to play with. Uh, you know, we can control everything there about how uh, we are working on the height and the density of the, of the foliage and uh, everything we need. So uh, we have, for example, this uh, this plant there, and you know, obviously, we have no animation. So if we like to have the wind, we can simulate in different way. You can imagine that you have a flex modifier with the wind, but the simplest way is to use, for example a noise modifier there and you know if we have the noise let's scale how much noise we have okay you see that's the the, the noise there if we set to animate you see that we have the animation Obviously, the animation is not right, actually, but we can change the parameters there for the animation, too. So, we can go there in the modified noise, and we can select this key and this key, so we have a linear animation. But we have to change something, too, because if you check the animation, we have the formation over for the trunk there, and that's not right. So I prefer to have uh, a selection. So um, let's go there in the foliage, and let's use a mesh select. Uh, we can, for example, pick there. Obviously, I'm not die, uh, doing something really complex, but if we prefer we can, for example, make a selection using this point of view and let's use their line and we'll select OK, and we add to add to the selection also this area using the the control key and there too from this point of view I like to add there and there and from there and from there so you know we have a lot of uh, vertices selected then we can go to the sub selection use sub selection and we can have a longer soft selection something like that then we can go there in the noise and then we can have another mesh select to close the selection let's see now it works and you see that we have the movement just on this area so another thing we can do is to have a bigger scale Let's try with 100, 500, 150. Let's go for a bigger scale. Okay. And I like to change there also the parameter 
in the noise here we have 100 let's try with 35 so a really low movement okay and then there we can try to add also something more and if you like for example you can add uh, a band that will control the movement over one axis but to be sure let's go to the show surface frame zoom there and we can create a preview an animated preview let's go for a 100 percent scale and let's say we like just the shield one and create maximum quality it is calculating it will be really fast you know and then going in the right folder to pick it manually because you know I have some kind of problem with the media player so as soon as it will be ready so obviously now it is too much and uh, it is too big and we need also to change some more parameters so we can go there noise we can go for fractal and there we can say that we like to have just maybe zero one or zero five and there in the mesh select we can go to have a more smooth movement Okay, you see that now it is lower. It seems lower because we have less movement and we can have also a bigger scale, still bigger. And again, there, inside the noise, there we have 35. Let's go for 15. So we'll have a slower movement. Just a little movement. Let's make a new preview. It is near to be ready. see it's really really little but it can give the idea that it is moving and obviously you can add uh, something more you can make a soft selection there and use for example an animated band to simulate more wind you can use another level of noise bigger to create uh, a little bit uh, a new layer of movement but this can be a really interesting way to simulate some animation over the um, the uh, the plants. So please try to use it with a lot of plants, and you can see if it works and uh, how you can tune the animation. So for the moment that's all, and I hope to see you back on Max Cookie to check for a new tutorial coming from cgcookie.com. Bye.